Have a blue potion. I do. I'm not buying your dagger. <sighs> Nath's live, thank you for the uh, host. Find this boot. Now, I can't remember what they said the ship was carrying. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, well, that's just bullshit. What's the point of saying I can go at the wreck if in a section of water that's uh, classed as deep water. Yeah, I'm just going to die. Yeah, I fuck that one. No, it, um, it thinks I'm in open ocean. It's to stop you swimming between islands. If I try and swim out past these rocks into the open sea it'll try and kill me but it's nice like that so yeah there's a ghost that'll tell you about a wrecked ship that might have treasure on it but if you try and go to it it kills you so uh, yeah fuck you but considering like I have so much gold, I'm having to stop picking it up. It doesn't really matter. Oh, come on, you piece of shit. Fine. to unlock the silver serpent but I couldn't find a way to use it. Before I free you, why scroll? Oh no, scroll's gonna stay for ah. Okay. Ah, yeah, I gotta 
baby monitor. I can talk to her through it as well, but um, it sounds terrifying, so we don't. I like a 50s robot. Would you like to go? Uh, Never mind. Oh, I've fuck. changed my mind. <laughs> I haven't. I just pressed the wrong button. Where would you like to go? My knock. now are they you know being so far apart and all not this not hard to find the shrine speak now the mantra of sacrifice sacrifice fuck it up um shit I honestly can't remember This is not the mantra of sacrifice that is spoken. Do not suffer from greed. Karen. Ka. Only when thou hast purged thyself of thine yeah. impurities yeah, well, yeah. canst thou purge me of mine. Wrong notebook. <laughs> Alright, we 
Irene's provision shop. Irene, you appear to have like dead fish on your account and a moldy cabbage. I'm Irene, and I can buy or sell. Would you like to see what I have? Yes, do you have any fucking heroin? Because it sounds like you're on it. I would like to sell some items. Oh, by all means. You're better off selling your things here than you are over in Minoc with those gypsies. Those filthy people will rob you blind. So, what would you like to sell? Thirty. Would you like anything else? Look at these beautiful items. Owning any of these will make you the envy of everyone in Britannia. <clears throat> what happened to this town? Terrible things. Hideous rioting and looting broke out when the column appeared. Everyone seemed to lose their minds. Finally, Raxus, the first citizen, brought order to the town. He saved this place, you know. Now, wouldn't you love to buy one of my lovely items here? There were riots here? It's hard to believe now, with the streets so peaceful, isn't it? But there were these terrible riots in the years before Raxus brought order. People were killing one another, there were fires, it was terrible. Just Although terrible. I did manage to pick up a few nice things here and there from the dead people who didn't need them anymore. Say, you don't have anything that you'd like to give me, do you? You took things from dead people? Yes, but they didn't need those things anymore. They were dead. Logic. Who is Raxus? Oh, he's the first citizen. He's the great man who brought order to the city and governs this area. He didn't really want to be in charge, but someone had to take up the reins. He's truly a reluctant hero, and Dong. he's a genius. You should go and speak to him. You can learn a great deal from a man like that. Yeah. All right, I'll buy. 750 for a sextant. I don't think so. Would you like anything else? No thanks, I'm not. Are you certain? You don't know what you're missing. Well, come back when you're in need of something. Ah, this is the adventure of the avatar that only goes. Oh no, here we go. Interesting. You know the future. Uh, first stage of darkness, tell the Ganners to travel from another world, destroy the gem of immortality, and fold the plan of the evil wizard mundane to Rusosaria. Revenge of the Enchantress, travel return to drive back the hordes of evil, summon by Mundane's lover, and disciple the Enchantress Minax, who had sworn revenge for her lost love on Earth. You missed that bit out. Exodus, bastard child of the evil mages Mundane and Minax, brought Sosaria to the brink of anarchy before the trouble arrived, and banished the last of this family line to the pit. Quest of the Avatar, the British United Sarian and renew name Britannia and proclaim the eight second virtues as the essence of Britannian life. Traveller returned and was named Avatar of the Virtues, Defender of the People and Britannia's Champion. I didn't just turn up, I had to like do a quest, you know, losing the name. Where is the destiny? From the three largest shards of the Broken Gem of Immortality came the Shadow Lords, who influenced Lord British's trusted confidant Lord Blackthorn. The Avatar summoned eight companions to defeat the Shadow Lords. Rescue their king while Black Thorn was thrown into a ethereal void for his betrayal. Not true. He was sent to another world unknown. False prophet, the Gargoyle's most sacred book, the Codex of Ultimate Wisdom, foretold that a false prophet would destroy the Gargoyle race unless he was sacrificed. That isn't what it said at all. After leaning, learning that he was the false prophet, the Avatar took the quest to between the two races. It just said what happened and they decided they would kill me. But Gate, the guardian of our beast from another world, was forced from Britannia when the Avatar travelled through the portal and destroyed Black Gate, which the guardian had entered. Uh, no, because he hadn't actually come through it. Pagan, imprisoned on a distant world within the sphere of the guardian, the Avatar was forced to summon the powers of darkness toward the element of Titans and open a portal to return to his world. What happened to Serpent Isle? Uh, 
uh, Ascension, the Avatar Champion of Virtue is called upon one last time to defeat the Guardian of the Wall, new destruction through eight great columns that are slowly ripping through the land and twisting the minds of the people. So somebody has written a book because they know what the Guardian's up to and nobody's picked up on it. They'll just accept that being wankers is normal. Jesus. Who are you? What is your business? Oh God, what is your voice? I am the Avatar, and I need to speak to your leader. <laughs> right, and I'm Lord British. Tell you what, though. For ten gold, I'll let you in to see the great leader. Ten gold, you say? Myler. Fine. Outstanding. A pleasure doing business with you. The great leader is right behind that door. Just go on in and introduce yourself. So, uh, Manic's supposed to be the city of sacrifice. For everyone's a guest. Just wankers. Move along. You eventually got around to spitting the words out, Weldon. Well Again, my knock is just tiny. Ha <laughs> ha. I am Raxus, first citizen and leader of the people of Cove, savior of Britannia and sole hope for the people. Um. Really? What about the people's freedom to choose for themselves? I have relieved the people of that burden. Life is difficult enough without beleaguering the people with so many demanding choices. It is a difficult task, but one that I gladly assume for the people. Wow. But what of the people's sacred rights? You are beginning to bring up some very dangerous topics, my friend. Such topics lead to trouble, and we do not tolerate trouble here in Cove. That was supposed to be in Minoc. <laughs> really? Oh, fuck off. I, didn't... I have relieved the people. It is bloody, a difficult task. Bloody fucking blah. How did you come to be the savior of Britannia? Lord British declared that I am to lead the people out of these dark times. You see, we here in Cove are a master strain of beings. <clears throat> We're destined to revive the glory that was once Britannia. All right-thinking people will see the truth in my words. Funny. Lord British didn't mention your appointment to me. Why should he have? Who are you that you should be told everything? I'm a man of great importance, whereas you are nothing. <clears throat> Then tell me how to sanctify the shrine. In my brilliance, I have discovered that the only way to sanctify our shrine is to sacrifice unbelievers who have been caught working against the people of Cove. Many sacrifices may be required, but I am sure that soon the shrine will be whole again. It is, after all, the shrine of sacrifice. These <laughs> sacrifices will, therefore, restore the power of the shrine and allow Cove to revisit its halcyon days. But Raxos, plan. how Farewell. can you believe that sacrificing a person is a virtuous act? Don't forget to whom you are speaking. I, more than anyone else, know the virtue of sacrifice. I know what is and what is not a virtuous act. Furthermore, I'll not have you or anyone else spreading dangerous thoughts in my town of Cove. Do you understand? <clears throat> Don't threaten me, you little dictator. How dare you speak to the first citizen in such a manner? <laughs> Prepare to die. Thanks. Just like murdered your leader. Anyone care? Anyone? No? Thank you, my friend. Thank you for freeing me. Uh, There's no need to worry about the first citizen anymore. Why? What do you mean? I had to kill him. He had the keys to these cells, and the only way to get them was to kill him. Don't sound so downcast. You did a great thing. I don't normally advocate killing, but in this case, <laughs> it was most justified. But to show my gratitude for all that you've done for me, 
I'd like to teach you a ritual that will aid you in your travels. What ritual are you talking about? It's called who I have the return no idea ritual. Who it will allow you to use moon gates to quickly travel from one part of the world to another. To use it, go to a circle of stones, which are usually near the shrines. When you enter the circle, place this orb of the moons on the ground. Once the orb is placed, you may got then speak the mantra of the, of the shrine that is nearest where you wish to go. For example, if you want to travel to Moonglow, say out loud the mantra, um. Yeah, because that's. You will summon a moon gate that totally will take you to Verity Isle where the Shrine of Honesty resides. How fucking. It is important to note that you can only be teleported to shrines that have been restored. The Orb of the Moons will automatically be returned to your inventory. That isn't how I moon just gates realized work. that I never got your name, stranger. What is your name? I owe you my life. I should at least know who to thank. I am the Avatar. Really? You're the Avatar? Well, I should have known. Oh my, I'm... Well, that is to say, I'm sorry. I'm just overwhelmed to meet you, Avatar. Of course I should have known. Listen, Avatar, should you ever need reagents, course. come see me in Britain. I'll take good care of you. Really? Until then, farewell, Avatar. Right, well, I have no idea who you are. But, apparently, you've gone over the moons, which is impossible, and you can travel between the moon gates using the over the moons by saying the mantra, which isn't possible either. You there, child, you look like I could stab you. My dad said he killed a dragon once. Yeah, well. Really? I need to move fireball. So I'm not going. Think. Don't worry, kid. Just saved you and all with your invisible leg. What's with the accent? This game. Ah, oh, they spit spider webs. Look at me. A bit like a skeleton whistling. Yeah, like Jennifer, our beloved bringer of donuts, lost but not forgotten. That's weird. She was buried in the Britain uh, graveyard as well. 
Eric has left us and gone where it's sunny. Now we can spend. Now we can spend and not worry about money. Okay. On sofa, grace this arena as the memory of our lovely Nina. Mitch got PK'd. Okay. Treasure map. Hell scroll is that? Summon Shadow Lord. 